Hi folks, my name is Ron Rogers, and I thought we had killed this issue almost uh, 30 years ago. Um, when when I was uh, back doing ALPA work, I, I was chairman of the New Aircraft uh, Certification and Evaluation Committee, but I, I was also doing a lot of RF interference type of work because of my background at uh, Boeing Military Company as lead engineer in the Microwave Technology Group, which was a subgroup of the EMC, EMI, um, okay, for all us uh, RF nerds here, electromagnetic compatibility, electromagnetic interference. But anyway, uh, back then I made weekly trips to the State Department um, with meetings on this issue. The FM broadcasters wanted to, and we're, we're talking about back then the analog signal of FM with, a, with the phase shift, frequency shift uh, type of modulation. Um, oh, please, please don't bail out too quick on this. You, you'll, you'll understand um, if you're not terribly familiar with this. But what, what the do the uh, the deal was we would have these meetings and in there we had people um, from myself uh, the airline pilot association union we had people from Collins we had uh, uh, broadcast uh, people we had the FCC and uh, I went to weekly meetings in the State Department we ended up having a big conference over in Helsinki on this but the bottom line was uh, these FM broadcasters wanted to increase their power um, to extremely high levels and 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 I'll, I'll show you why that is a, a big problem in just a second. But we went to these meetings. We beat it down. In fact, um, this is the closest I've ever come in Alpa work to almost having an international incident because I and another engineer got into it very heavily over in Helsinki. And um, yeah, I did, it, it, was, uh, it, did not, it did not go well. I'm, I'm not a very good diplomat in these State Department type of meetings. And uh, yeah, anyway, I digress. So here's the deal. And I saw this, this popped up in my aviation feed and I go, oh my gosh, are we dealing with this thing again? And, you know, we, we had this, this group with the state department and we were, we were battling within ourselves because the FCC was in there and they, the power they had, um, in regards to the FAA, just amazed me. The FCC, because this is all money, you know, FM broadcasters are money. Because of that, the FCC had a lot more power than, than the FAA did in this. And, and here's where the, the danger is in the whole thing. You've got these FM broadcast stations. Okay, we beat it down so the um, the analog signals were, were kept under control. But you've got the FM broadcast signals that are extremely high powered. And then right next to the band, right next to the FM broadcast, is the aviation bands. You got your ILS, you got your communications. And those operate on much weaker signals. And if we had allowed them to increase their power to some of the levels they wanted, it would have just essentially wiped out uh, ILS. Uh, and in one case I'm going to show you, it would have made it so you couldn't fly the ILS into Midway. Uh, because you're looking right, runway 22 is looking right down the Sears Tower. Now what you're talking about, Willis Tower. And, um, you know, the, the FCC didn't give a flying copulation that this was going to cause a, a big problem. That was not their concern. So... Uh, the FCC is looking for comments. Yep, and they, they put out these press releases, and so we're backfighting this whole thing again. And if you don't think this is big business, this is the Sears, I'm sorry, Willis Tower. I'll never get over not calling it the Sears Tower. Um, I remember when it was being built. I was in college at the time. Um, but this is the, uh, the Willis Tower. And that antenna space is sold by the inch. And it's very expensive because you want your transmitter up there. Um, and, of course, uh, here we are fighting the battle again uh, with the FCC, a lot of money and stuff like that. And, uh, oh, it just got my dander up because it's like oh, some of these battles never end. It's amazing. The fun and joys of things going on in aviation. And this is whole background aspect of aviation and, and union activity that a lot of people just don't realize. You're just kind of glad things work. But, boy, there's a lot of fights in the background Uh uh, over territory, over frequency, over spectrum, uh, trying to uh, trying to keep things under control, as it were. So that's my short little rant on this thing that I thought had died and now has resurfaced. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting, informative, uh, whatever. Thanks.